All right, folks, Mark here, cooking books, bringing info. Y'all know how I do. So I put up a video talking about thanking God for your troubles. And one of my associate of mine was talking yesterday and he asked me, you know, you know, it's a practical question. Like, why would you thank God you're broke? Right. Why well, thank God that your bank account is, is, is you know, in, in, the, in, the, in the red. Right. You're like, why well, thank God that you're having trouble trying to get tenants out of your house? That's what I'm going through. Like, I just bought this house. Like, I rented it out. And now I got really bad tenants and the courts are, like, jamming me up. I can't get rid of them to destroy my property. Why well, thank God for that? This is what my, my, you know, me and someone was talking about yesterday. Like, why well, thank God when you're, like, stymied and, and impeded and hindered and you can't, like, everything is crumbling and and, and your, your world is, is, is crushing in on you, closing in. Why well, thank God? Because, again, if you go back and see the previous video, a lot of the stuff I was saying, it just, again, it's counterintuitive and it makes no logical sense, right? I talked about thanking God that your wife left, thanking God that, you you know, you're in courts battling for custody, thanking God. Like, people were like, yo, this dude is nuts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And obviously, I gave justification. I backed it up with the Bible, with with, 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 with scripture. But again, not everyone is spiritual minded. Paul talks about this in Colossians, I believe in Corinthians. Uh, spiritual things discerned by the spirit. Right. So you can't discern spiritual things with natural human eyes or human understanding or human thinking. So let me just say this. The reason let me see. I'm not going to try to get too spiritual, but let me just say this. The reason why it works. Here's why it works. And I'm going to give you science. I'm going to use science to back up by thanking God for failure is a great thing. Why thanking God for difficulties, for challenges, for loss, hurt, pain. Why that is a great thing. I'm going to use science, science, science. Right. Einstein tested, proven. Right. Uh, Max Planck, tested, proven. Niels Bohr, tested, proven. You know, go go research these, these great thinkers. Uh, uh, Isaac Newton, tested, proven. Uh, Galileo, tested, proven. Like these are the minds that I am not worthy to walk in any of these men's shoes of the names aforementioned. But I'm going to stand on the shoulders of these giants and herald my voice like a trumpet. Right. Herald the things I learned from these great minds. Why thanking God? Why doing the opposite of what you're experiencing is healthy for you? Biblical, theological. Now I'm going to give you I give you biblical, theological and scriptural. And for those who can't understand the biblical, theological and scriptural, I'm going to give you scientific, empirical, metaphysical. Oh, you like that. I know y'all like that one. I, I gave you scriptural. Theological and biblical. And if that's not sufficient, then I'm going to give you scientific, empirical, and metaphysical. Oh, come on. Talk to me. That's a triple threat. That's a trinity right there. Triple threat. Triple threat. Right? So here, here's the here's the science. In the spiritual realm, like acts like. That's the law in spiritual, in the astral or in the subtle plane. In our three-dimensional uh, existence in which we reside in corporal forms, the laws are different. The laws in our realm, right, that, that governs all of creation. And if we learn the laws and are able to dance, like just like rock and dance with these laws, our life becomes a, a beautiful, uh, a beautiful piece, right? A, a, a beautiful artwork, a, composi a, a composition, a beautiful rhythm. Why? Here's why. Because in our three-dimensional realm, again, three-dimensionality, the plane in which we reside, the laws are a little different than in the astral and subtle realms. In this realm, the laws are opposites attract. Again, in the astral and the um, sub, uh, subtle planes, like attracts like. I and mean, I can go into that and break some serious stuff about that, but that's not what we're here to discuss. I want to focus on why praising God for losing everything. Why praising God for losing your job? Why saying, God, thank you, I lost this job. Thank you, I lost my wife. Thank you, I lost my house. Thank you. The stuff that makes no sense. Here's what you do. Scientifically, you're triggering the laws of duality and polarity, which governs this universe. That law says opposites attract. It's magnetism. If you're a science, you want to use scientific terms, it's called electromagnetism, electromagnetic force, the electromagnetic force, right? And again, these forces I just named in the aforementioned, I, I named all the great scientists who have proven this. There's data that backs up everything I'm saying, right? 
And I got tons of literature, books, research. Like I spent hours, days, months diving deep sea, like really pulling the stuff out. So when you do the opposite, when you praise God and thank God for, for a loss, you're doing the opposite of your nature, your natural, biological, bioelectrical, biochemical body, right? Wants to react in accordance with the experience. So if it's a negative experience, your body is going to want to respond and react negatively. That's natural. I'm not knocking you. I'm not browbeating anyone. I'm not talking down to anyone. It is totally, it's called being human being. Okay. When you do the opposite of what your body, your biology wants to do, when your spirituality acts opposite to your biology, you create, again, what's called polarity. And we know that opposites do what? Attract. So when something bad happens, a bad experience, and you do the opposite, right? You start thanking God and listen, I thank you, God, for, for the for the for my lights being turned off for what you activate in the other spiritual, you activate in the spiritual universe, the spiritual realm. You activate that 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 thanking God, that's a positive. You had a negative event, you're now emitting a positive reaction. What you're doing is you're activating okay, the, the power of you being positive and you're attracting that which you're asking God for into your life. Because let's be honest, when you're thanking God that you lost something, right, without you saying or even being aware, you're activating uh, a positive energy. You start, you're creating a positive energy. Opposites attract. So you're attracting a positive energy from God, that you want you call it the universe, call it Jesus. You're, you're attracting a positive force, a pot called vibrational frequency. You're attracting a positive vibration, okay, that's going to manifest uh, the uh, 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 into your life the opposite of what's happened. So you lost the let's just say you lost the job, and you're thanking God. God, you know what? I lost this job, but I thank you. I thank you. You're not thanking Him for the loss. I I I, I word it that way. But you're not necessarily thanking God for the loss. You're really thanking God that even though you lost this, you know in his divine, there's a term called Jehovah Jireh, which means God is your provider. Jehovah Jireh means God is your provider. You know in, you, you, what you're doing is you're thanking him because you know, according to that title, Jehovah Jireh, that he's going to provide for you. That he will provide the loss of this job. God, I thank you that I thank you. I, you're not necessarily thanking him. You're actually exercising what's called faith that he will provide. And that's the opposite. And now you're going to attract the activation. You're activating his power. By thanking him, you're activating his power to live up to Jehovah Jireh, which is God is my provider. So though you might have lost this uh, position in your job or whatever, your career, you lost this or you lost some finances or something you lost in the stock market, you invested and you lost, you know, you bought a house and the market turned and, you know, your mortgage is upside down and foreclosure process, whatever is going on, you're thanking God for the opposite. Because again, we exist in uh, duality, right? Polarity, the opposites attract, the laws of opposite attract. Now, when you become negative, right? And you act in accordance with what's happening. You know, you got a bad energy, a bad vibration from the laws of a loved one, the laws of a job. Like I said, you when you start to act with that, what you're doing, your res is you create what's called resonance. Resonance just is a, fair, is a really nice word that simply means to amplify, magnify, and expand that which you're resonating with. So if you're resonating with the negative energy, you're going to amplify it. So you lost the job, you're resonating with that negative energy. Oh, forget about just losing the job. Now you're going to lose your wife, you're going to lose your kids, you're going to lose your home, you're going to lose everything. Why? Because that's how the universe works. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to change it. Learn the laws and dance with it. That's the way. You got to learn how to you got to learn how to dance with it. You understand what I'm saying? When you dance to the music, you know what I mean? You got to learn how to dance with the rhythm, right? Because we're all, you know what I'm saying? We, we resonate every single day. We're always moving, motion. We're always in motion in our, in our multidimensionality. So doing the opposite of what your biology wants to do creates the laws of attraction, laws of uh, opposite of attraction. So you're giving out a positive vibration to a negative situation 
and you're activating Jehovah Jireh, which is God is my provider, to provide that which you just lost. And I talked about in the previous video, Job was given everything in twofold. So you have to, this is, and again, you're not thanking God for the loss of a loved one. You're not thanking God because you lost the job per se. You're thanking God knowing, okay, activate, acting on your faith. Your faith is knowing and trusting in an unseen and an uncertainty, right? You're proving your faith to God and God has no other alternative but to live up. The word says this, he's not a man that he should lie. This is what we got to understand. God is, God is perfect. He is infallible. He is on, uh, on, you know, without any fault. Uh, impeccability. He's an impeccable God. Uh, unreproachable. Cannot be reproached. Uh, he is immutable. There is no mute. There is no uh, changing, 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 changeability. That means immuni immunitability, right? So there's no changing. Uh, and, and 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 once you understand this, then. You know, by you being positive in a when your body and your biology and everything else wants to be negative, you're you're actually doing the opposite of what is natural in nature. And for that, now you God has no other alternative but to answer your request. And your request is the opposite of what is happening. And opposites in in this in this realm that in which we live. Opposites are going to bring you what you want. Because if you lost the job and you're thanking God, you're actually what you're saying in the spirit is this is what I need because I lost this. I need this. I need a replacement, a substitution. I need that. And that is the opposite effect of what's actually happening. So this is countering. Countering, I talked about counterintuitive. So, and God has to oblige, right? He has to oblige. Oh, he has to oblige your, he has to oblige your request. There is no, the scripture says he's not a man that he should lie, right? So he says, you have not because you ask not. And he says, and then it further says, when you ask, be not like a double-minded man who is unstable in all his ways, because that man shall not get anything. I'm paraphrasing. But so, we have to show our faith when we lose the job, when we lose the home, when things are going upside down in our lives. That is when your faith is going to truly show where you stand, who you are, your character. And again, you have to do the opposite of nature. And I say nature in the sense of what's natural, a natural response as opposed to a supernatural response. A supernatural response would be doing the opposite. Showing gratitude and thankfulness uh, when naturally no one else or naturally nothing in you wants to be thankful. There's nothing external or internal that wants to be thankful, right? Nothing in your environment suggests you being thankful and nothing internally suggests you being thankful. But when you can act in the fourth, fifth, sixth dimensional way of, of spirit-led thinking, you can activate these powers into your life. I hope this video cleared things up a little bit for some of you guys who are asking me. Uh, if you like it, you know what to do. Next time, peace.